All right, here I am with my dad, Leo Buddy Rowe. <laughs> Back in the day, he put the fear of God in people on the ice, and now he's just a friendly face in the fairway, right? That's right. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Your point. I love you, Dad. See ya. Thank you. If you wish to discard, please do a final check around your seat and in the seat back pocket. We hope you enjoy the JetBlue experience. Much we enjoyed having you on board today. Thanks again for flying with us. We'll be landing soon. <laughs> Welcome aboard, dude. Hey, what's what up? Big seat. All right, day one. We're um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Just getting on the buses here. Here's uh, the other bus. There's Charlie. Look at these like captain's chairs you got up here. He's like sw oh, swivel. You can lean back. You can lean back. Lean back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna be all right. All right. So I don't know what the over under is on Vegas uh, about when this thing's gonna break down, but <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. Maryland. Okay, that's a nice situation. Same as Europe, no number uh, two or paper in the uh, bathroom. Right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. We have the wicked back notch here. It's like dialed in to have a wicked nightclub vibe right now. Oh yeah. The so US buses are uh, one story as opposed to the buses we had in Europe which was double-deckers, but as you can see here, on the, on the U.S. bus, you can stand up and really elongate your spine, which is uh, quite, quite the bunk. advantage. What do you, what you got there? This is in my bunk. A vacuum attachment? Some sort of vacuum, dual vacuum attachment. Crevice tool, uh, brush tool, and the extender piece. They just, uh, maybe they just knew that you were like uh, a very like, you know. <laughs> Into that? <laughs> yeah, Into yeah. cleaning? That you were that kind of guy. What's up, yeah, man? yeah. Your merch just got here. Shirts came. Yeah, buddy. No fucking vinyl. Oh, so come if on. you want something, buy a fucking shirt, you cheap pricks. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. Yeah. Okay. One, two. I am like right on the front fill, standing on the sub, right in front of the PA. Jesse, we're on Jax. Trouble with my foot tonight. Me and my Kelly. 
Mike saved my life last year, you guys remember. What's up, guys? He's, up there. He's the guy yeah. with the better hair that you guys saw on stage. Actually, uh, I think I have a receding hairline, so. <laughs> <laughs> no one has better hair than you. No, that's uh, <laughs> a, a untrue statement right there. Uh, yeah. I love this guy. Hey, very much. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We grew up, street. grew up together. We grew up together, yeah, yeah totally. We've known each other since we were much shorter than we are right now. I don't, I don't know how much shorter. Maybe like, like that, yeah, like, yeah, like about right, that. Right, yeah, right about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are in Orlando, Florida. We just rolled up here for a day off. The show last night in Charlotte was great. And uh, I'm looking for iced coffee. So I uh, found this place, it looks pretty good. Let's see if they're gonna get, have a nice iced coffee for me. Uh, liquid IVs going in there. Oh, yeah. Those things are awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. I guess they have a lot of sugar, but well, I guess maybe that's why I'm discovering why. That's why I think they're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's why they're better than the ones without sugar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sugar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's start this motherfucker. <laughs> People going really fast over there, man. Really fast. St. Petersburg, Florida, and there's a um, there's a, a car race going on in town here today called the Firestone Grand Prix. You can probably hear the cars revving around in the background there. And I've also got my, a little more of a bro look going on than I than I care to uh, actually uh, cop here. With my hat in uh, in this warm weather. I'm just trying to control this ridiculous hairdo that I have going on. I bought some gel that I'm gonna put in my hair today and I hope it doesn't backfire 
like um, the pomade that I put in my hair when we played Wembley Arena. Um, I, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna finally tame this ridiculous hair do I have. I lathered like a pound, like pound and a half of pomade into my hair, and it just made it so that big chunks of my hair would come would like start waving out from the side and stuff, and I looked like an escaped uh, a insane, insane asylum patient. So yeah. <laughs> That's probably what I'll look like tonight with the with the gel that I bought in my hair. I mean, look at this. How, how can I don't know what I'm doing? Why don't I get a haircut? How does this look good? This is like I'm like one of those guys you see, and you're like, what has he got going on there? Why is he doing that? Who t who's does he not have any real friends? Who's not telling him to just get a goddamn haircut? got to be at least a few people uh, in town today blasting on coke thinking that they're like Henry Hill. <laughs> not not connecting the choppers to the Grand Prix and just uh, thinking that the feds have finally busted them, you know? Like Tony Montana's grandson or some shit like that. Seven. Okay, here we are today in uh, Pensacola, Florida. I uh, threw on my old flip-flops and was hoping to dip my feet into the drink out there, but um, to no avail. Instead, I found what looks like a wholesale seafood market. 
Joe and Patty's Seafood. Joe Patty. And uh, I'm gonna go in there and look around, see what they got. Yeah, I came all this way. I might as well check it out, right? I'm not gonna get beach time. And I might as well see what they got in there for uh, canned fish, so. Yeah. yeah, this place is dope. Got sushi in the back. This is authentic, the real deal, man. Oh All right, so check this out. No uh, seafood um, market is going to be, be complete without Old Bay, but they have like varieties of old thing. This is how you know you're in the real the real place. So as fascinating as this place is, and it is pretty fascinating. Um, they don't really have any sardines. They've got. I was debating if I was going to get some of these um, smoked kippers, but eh, I think I'll pass. I think I'm just going to walk on home, boy. All right. So even though I didn't buy anything there, that place is pretty cool. If I lived here and I had like a grill or something, I would have bought some fish to grill. That would have been nice. But um, I'm just visiting. See children talk families, and no one seems to care. How can you tell me that it's all right? How can you tell me that it's fair? Let me ask a question. How did it come to this? We're gonna have some fun right now. We're gonna see who can get louder. Because John's saying you are here. I think you can get louder. How you doing up there in the second tier, all right? Everybody have your IDs out. Yeah, we're gonna have Music Hall, small little intimate club, 850 cap venue, uh, it's full of people, Sykes having fun. I got my tea to take care of my voice, which is totally fucking shot. And um, yeah, it's all good. About to go uh, put on some more appropriate attire and then uh, get it. Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, we had to cram all this into like a, the size of a shoebox yesterday, right? Yeah, it's nice to have yeah. our nice width and depth. Yes, look at almost uh, have our depth. Almost depth, yeah. Look at uh, twenty feet of depth. Peek into Johnny's world here. Hey, it's our world. It's it's our world. It's our world down, down here. here. That's right. It's a bit like NASA over here. Well, there are a lot of space cadets. <laughs> <laughs> Production office here at the Eastern. There's Ozzy up there. It's like there. Hallway of DRs here. This is a very nice, very new looking venue. Oh, yeah. All right, everyone, you need to see this here this uh, Topo Chico fridge. If you know, you know. Right, uh, the door to the dressing room hallway here, right on the inside there. 
looks like it was custom made for that spot. And then uh, for your convenience, we made it. Hanging out outside, uh, outside the Eastern here in Atlanta, Georgia. And it's a beautiful venue. It's a really nice place. And they've got a fantastic cold brew coffee bar uh, directly across from the front entrance of the venue. And uh, it's the best nitro I've ever had in my life. Shouldn't be drinking coffee today because my voice is shot, but I had one. And uh, now I'm drinking water and hot tea. <laughs> and uh, hoping for a miracle. you want to refer to it part one um it's been uh it's been fun it's been a lot of fun for me personally it's been pretty eventful um i've been kind of dealing with uh feeling a little under the weather and i'm uh, still trying to give the people what they deserve so i hope i've done that uh you guys let me know if you've been at any of the shows and you think that we suck do you think that i sucked feel free to say so <laughs> down below all right anyway uh, in all seriousness, uh, thank you guys. I love all you people, and uh, talk to you again soon. Bye.